how this dude's operating. Oh, yeah, this is DOT. I'm and Michael. I'm Austin. Yeah. And apparently, the difficulty was on easy. Good. Keep it that way. Yeah, Unless like, you want to make it harder for yourself. Fuck no, we're almost done with it. Like, if, if I had been playing it by myself, uh, I would probably get the game with extras. Oh, it's the shit I found. And that's the only thing you found. Oh, no, these are everything I found collectively. Oh, did you, oh, did you collect it all? Yeah. Oh, you've done all the collectibles? No. Oh, okay. What are we at? No, no, no. I'll go back. Uh, hit circle. Hit circle. Uh, go to start game. Slaps you right in, by the way. So there was two VCH, uh, VSH tapes that uh, you had to do, and you oh, skipped boy, one. That was, that was ugly. Now you're playing as your friend, the, yeah, the, the, the one that you're looking for. Why don't you have the windows closed already? It's fucking raining outside. Come on, man. So these, these are your eight pages. You have to walk around the house that you explored in the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta close all the goddamn windows. Because for some reason, on a rainy night, she has all her windows open. Yeah. But so, uh... But yeah, so Metal Gear Survive, which is the uh, new Metal Gear game they're coming out with. Yeah. Um, from the trailer, it's uh, it is. All right, so you haven't seen Metal Gear Solid uh, Five Ground Zeroes or anything, but the idea is that Snake, uh, big boss from uh, one of the older games. Spoiler alert. Yeah, yeah. He uh, he formed this base on the ocean called Mother Base, and that's what Metal Gear Solid uh, Peace Walker is about. Mm -hmm. But so. This new game called Metal Gear Survive. You skipped those windows. They, they were close already. Really? Yeah, yeah. They don't look it. Yeah, no, that's why I keep checking them. So. And the trailer involves. Fuck you, buddy. Can I close it, close it, close it? That didn't work at all. Yeah, but I think it slows them down. I'm getting murdered. Oh, he's right there. What? Hide in your room. Go. go. Oh, so this is, yeah, this he got he got in the house. The whole point of the uh, VHS was to stop him, but it's seeing how he already got in. Hide. What do you mean the point of the VHS was to stop him? Well, no, like the point of this uh, part. Oof, Dawson, did you jump? Yeah, I did. I didn't know that was gonna happen. <laughs> but so, okay, so Metal Gear Solid survive. Mm -hmm. uh, soldiers from other base after gets attacked at the end of Ground Zeroes. They're starting to get absorbed into a portal in the sky. Mm-hmm. And they are taken to an alternate dimension where they're fighting zombie demons. So they're basically being tortured? Because, like, it's zombie demons. I mean, if yeah, they get caught, they're tortured, right? Basically, it's hell. Oh, okay, so the, so the... Wait, yeah, this is the same area from where the first VHS tape was. Yeah. Uh, you may have to do the okay. second VHS tape, but unless you want to skip... Like, unless you want to pause here and then... Uh, wait, the Matheson farm, that's the same thing with the, the kid, right? Yeah, the kid in the cornfield. Do I have to do it? Uh, I think so, but like we can exit and then go back into uh back into stage select. You're just gonna do it again? Uh, I was just wondering, is that like it, does it... It, it? You did it last time. Okay, so last time after I finished this yeah, first so you... one, I had to do the. Yeah, uh... you want to pause it? Uh, no, we can just go back to stage select and. Skip yeah, no, like, do you want? Yeah, that's what I meant by. Oh, wait, we don't pause it. Oh, okay, okay. Fucking touch me, awesome, jeez. But yeah, so you absorbed into portals, uh, zombies okay. from hell. So I want to say something now. Yeah. Hideo Kojima as a. Uh, Who's, who was the former director of the Metal Gear series? Creator too. Yep, creator up until five before they axed the shit out of him. And Kojima said very dirty things about Konami, and uh, Konami was like, "Yeah, we're terrible." Yeah, uh, as be expected. Okay, so uh, you're so going, that was Homestead. So we're, yeah, you're going to home. Uh, you're going to the arrival. All right. Wow. Shit. This really is almost over. Yeah. So uh, so Hideo Kojima did all that, but now Hideo Kojima has always been about like sort of. Deep, deep invested plot, right? Well, deep invested plot that's got a lot of bullshit, and it's all about like sort of pseudo sci uh, sci fi shit, mm -hmm. you know, like uh, like there's lots of shit like cyborgs and like nano machines. Yeah, shit like as that. what I saw in Metal Gear Rising. Yeah, you saw like the you saw you saw Hideo Kojima basically go, all right, I made a serious game series. Now time to just basically go bananas with it with one of my favorite characters, and uh, like like I'm saying that as it, from his perspective because mm -hmm. yeah. But so it's always been sort of grounded in reality up until Rising, like, and I say that like it, it's I take that with a grain of salt. But comparatively, there's almost never any true sci-fi elements. Mm -hmm. Like in Metal Gear Solid uh, Two, they introduced a vampire character who couldn't die. But in Four, they reveal it to be oh he's a you know it's it's all technology. That's keep like nanotech that yeah the, keeps that, him alive. that the senator was using. Yeah, yeah, like that that sort of stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. they, they, again take the senator stuff and just. Like take it to the max, and that's that's Mel you're rising, um, and so do I have to go up this way or do I have to go around? You have to go around. Okay, yeah, but so yeah, and but it's always had this sort of grounding in like pseudo realism. Yeah. Metal Gear Survive is all supernatural, and that's weird. 
It's 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 like Konami looked at their fan base from Elgar or Solid. They thought, what's a way to garner their, uh, you know, their their love again? Mm-hmm. I got it. A co-op survival game that has almost nothing to do with the original series. Yeah. So what you explained to me about portals and taking like soldiers and they have to survive and like they basically get turned into zombies if they get caught, right? I guess. Yeah. Um, that's Taken King. Is it really? That is literally the plot to the Taken King. Uh, so the story of the okay Destiny lore for all you Destiny guys out there. Um, after you oh, defeat, so where am I supposed to go? I actually have no idea. The map doesn't look familiar from here. You're literally on the side of the mountain. I know, because I can't find a path. Uh, there should be a cave at some point. What? If you go a little bit lower, probably. Oh, uh, wait, is it over here somewhere? Because uh, there was no... Um, the path just slipped straight. Oh, there's a cave. Um, for all the people that don't know Destiny, uh, after you destroy Crota, uh, son of Oryx, Oryx comes and... Uh, Jesus, what am I wearing? Pans on my feet? Yeah. You're just alerting everybody. Also, I'm... you see the gasoline around and yeah. shit? Wait, is this it? Uh, no, that's a box. With a note. But yeah, no, because literally it sounded like I was, like, every time I fell, it sounded like I was landing Dude, in the Dude, you got clown shoes, clown shoes on that have frying pants on the bottom. But, I'm wearing uh, Sora shoes from Kingdom Hearts. But, uh, so, Oryx, the, uh, Taken King, he, uh, he killed a god and Looks got the like power the to take whatever he wants. Right? Look at, look at, the Joker's been here. <laughs> anyway, so what were you saying? Uh, he can take whatever he wants, so, like, he sees that, like... Say that he sees that fallen drag out there. He's like, yeah, that's mine. See that uh, See that guy over there? Yeah, no, mine. He can just open a portal and grab you and pull you in, tortures you, to then reopen the portal to spit you out. Yeah. And basically where you go is like hell, where you see things that you'd never want to see in your entire existence. Does that ever happen in any of your characters in the game? In the game, uh... It kind of happens to you. That's kind of a raid mechanic where you're almost taken, but you have uh, the because you have light, mm-hmm. you have the ability to fight fight it. But uh, they've uh, in the April update of 2016, they uh, God, they... I showed a poor cookie. That cookie is burned to shit. What? That cookie it was burned to shit. Yeah, it looked it. Fucking it was like it. brown, not even like it was well, like. It, it, honestly, all of them were bad. Nah, oh sometimes it, it depends on the person who's cooking it. By the way, there's a forest fire. Forest, what the fuck? Where's Where Forest Burn? Up? Yeah, seriously, where's Forest Burns? I need him. Where's the dude from uh, Firewatch? He wouldn't be able to help me in this situation. You mean Overwatch? Be... No, no, Firewatch. Overwatch. Yo, dude, if you get through this without getting burned, that'd be great. Oh. Where's Slender? Slender. Uh, he's actually around. Yeah, I figured. Like, you see your camera fucking up? That's him. Fuck off, buddy. Ooh. Uh, he got Ow. burned. Never mind. Gotta get out of here. But, um, yeah, no, uh, Des- Destiny's getting a little cuckoo bananas, too. Um, ever seen, ever seen, um, Fuck you. anything with Star Trek? Um, I've only ever seen the remake, of the, the first redo movie, the first reboot. Okay, so in Star Trek, they're the enemy called the Borg. Yeah, yeah, I know the, I know the Also, Borg. You, you know the Borg. I like know the, of the Borg. Okay, yes. so. The, the idea is that they, they're collective. And they, yeah. Fuck they, me. They're collective. They, like, you know, try to get organic people and turn them into what they are. Which is like sort of. They're they're cyborgs, but they're not cyborgs. They're like they're one thing. They're like a hive. Yeah. But uh, the hive. The, the, uh, don't don't get me crazy yet. I'm gonna actually explain the new plot to the Destiny game. So. Do Destiny two. Uh no, not Destiny two. Uh, Rise of Iron. Oh fuck. Dude, he's gonna get you. I could, literally every time I turn around, he he's there. Dude, he's gonna get you. Whoa, you survived. Somehow I. That's am pretty alive. impressive. What the fuck is going on? This is bonkers. Let me inside. You need to get there. You need to get in there. Let me inside. Let me inside. I've never seen the camera freak out like this before. Did I make it? Yeah, you made it. Okay, go. Fuck me sideways, Slender. Oh, he's about to. Let's see. Severe weather, flood, wildfire, hazardous material release. Oh, it's time made up. So, do I go on the radio and tell tell everyone, Slender's here, Slender's here? You can if you want. I mean, I just feel crazy. So is he still following me? Uh, I actually don't remember at this point. No. Yeah. I'm just gonna, like, tell him. Oh, you need a key. So that must be the one room that has it. I'm gonna drink this bleach right here. It might as well, right? Yeah, seriously. If I was ever followed by Slender, I think... Oh, I know, that that's what, like, the Slender Sickness leads into anyway. I mean, it's either you die of Slender Sickness or you fucking kill yourself. Or you become a proxy. Well, no, that's uh, that's mainly for children, isn't it? They Like, they grow up a proxy. Well, the, was it the, the girl in here is a... Uh... A proxy. Oh yeah, good point. 
Oh, there's the key. Oh, I think something's chasing you now. I mean, that's just what it sounded like. It sounded like something opened. Is that another fire? Anyway, so, uh, Rise of Iron? Oh, yeah, so... Okay, so, about... Uh, when when the collapse happened on Earth, which is, like, you know, a big catastrophe that... That, uh... Basically put humanity into oh, one boy, city. Oh, my flashlight's dead. Oh, that's great. Run to the fire. So I'm, spo I'm supposed to have my flashlight dead. Yeah, no, it's part... It's plot. But, uh, yeah, so, uh... R Rise of Iron... It's like ten, like you know, thousands of years ago, or hundreds of years ago. I'm not actually too sure. Uh, I failed you. That you did, buddy. That's your buddy CR. That's the guy you played as the farm. Oh, okay. Yeah, he killed himself. He killed, did. He burn himself alive. That's yeah, terrible. he did. I failed you. It's kind of weird how there's a fire in here, though. I figured the oxygen would have been down by now. Probably. I can't see. Run, run. So nothing's happening, so I figure someone's about to come up from behind me and tear my skin off. Whispers. For me to be free. But, uh, you know, so, like, so hundreds, of, hundreds of thousands, or probably hundreds of years ago. I'm not sure how far the, uh, time and destiny has gone since they found the Traveler. Yeah. But, uh, there's this thing called, uh, I think, SIVA. And it was a, uh, it was nanotech that, ooh. Oh, oh, oh. You know, I was waiting for that, but that would have been more effective had it come up slowly. Really? No, I would have been afraid of it running at me. Well, it should start slow and get faster. Where the fuck am I? You're in the basement. You're in a basement. I'm not sure which, which basement. What are you doing? They're gone now, aren't they? Check it out. Do I have to run now? Uh, I did explore, Austin. I'm too afraid. There's something down here with me. Let's tear my skin off. It's that thing. Worst part is you have your back to it. It's the the girl, or is it the kid from the cornfield? It's the kid from the cornfield. Is it? Ooh, why the fuck are you still there? What the hell do you want? I'm gonna go go see. I don't want to touch it. Why? Because he's going to rip my skin off. What else is new? I suppose that's true. Oh, oh, he's gone. So now do I go? Or is he going to tear my skin off? Go find out. Fuck, Austin. It's a it's game. Video game. Go find. I don't like being in a video game. I like, I like real life. Yeah, you know, certain parts, you know, when they, there's certain parts of video games that I'd be like, oh, I'd love to be a part of that. Yeah. And then there's certain parts of video games like, I would not want to be a part yeah, of Sunday. I know, I know exactly what you're talking about, man. Like, uh, when we play Condemned, you're not going to be a part of that world. That yeah. world sucks. Dude, Everyone... did you hear Outlast 2 confirmed? Uh, that been confirmed for a while, hasn't it? Yeah, I found out about it, though. Yeah, it's all right. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure where they'll go with the story. Whistleblower had a good ending for that. I don't know. Oh, uh, well, it's, it's not connected. But yeah, that's sort of the thing, like, uh, Life is Strange Ooh, wait, has a similar wait. thing. You gonna tear my skin off? Ooh. Oh, guess you're gonna tear my skin off. Hi, friend. By the way, that's your buddy. Yeah, I know it is. Did she tear my skin off? Yeah. There you are. Dude, am I dead? Yeah. Is it the end of the game? You find your friend, though. That was the goal. You won. You just die in the end. Really? Yeah. That was kind of anticlimactic. Yeah. It was really scary, though. Yeah. Though, uh, it would have been better had it been like. It would have been better if there was more puss. Just lesbian sex at the but, end. Uh, okay. No, it would have been better had it been like it given you like it was like at the end it would have been like run and then you run all the way back to the end of the basement. Okay. And then you just die in the end anyway. So I would say that oh yeah, next time um fucking dude separating tech DOT. What are oh, um, we gonna keep talking about destiny whenever we get No, back? there's no. extras. Oh shit, what's it what are the actual extras? Okay, so these are extras. Uh -huh. These are options. Stage select. Genesis. What's this? Collect the eight pages, Austin. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, yeah. it's it's the first map. Uh, yeah, this this map. Uh, I'm not sure if it was the same guy that made it, but uh, it is just the eight pages remade. Hold on, actually, let me fix that for you. Let me fix that for you, friend. So, is this actually attached to the game in any way? Like this? No, no. Oh wait, yes, it is. This is how Kate meets uh, Slender. But she met him in the house. 
No, she knew of him. Like, she was already going paranoid. That's why your friend was coming to visit you. Okay, so... Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so... Rise of Iron... This the this ancient weapon known as Siva was nanotech. It made like Guardian stronger and everything. Yeah. Except this thing developed a mind of its own, and it started becoming like an infection more than anything. Mm -hmm. And so, the uh, the iron the what was left of the Iron Lords. What did you change? I uh, put it on hardcore. Oh fucking hell! I'm gonna die immediately. Aren't I? No, you, you need to get. It's just like the same rules of the old eight pages. You need to, you need to actually get a page for him to trigger. Yeah, that's true. But there was like a war between Fallen so and... So what's the difference in hardcore mode? Is he just harder? Yeah, he just he just appears everywhere. But uh, in Rise of Iron, the uh, there was a war between Fallen and like these things, these guys known as the Iron Lords. Okay. And uh, it, it, there was nine of them, seven of them died, and two of them put away Siva, because that's what the Fallen dude, were look, after. You can see him. You can? Oh, dude, you can. Hey, fuck you. Go visit him. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Yeah, I can be closer. Is he? Nope. He's just watching me. That's weird. I got two pages. What a creep. Yep, slightly closer. Turn around again. Oh, I can see him. Hey, fuck you. Yeah, you're right. He's always to the left of you. Well, no, 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 no. Uh, whenever I'm like this, he should be to the left of you. But I, I think what I mean by that, because before he was in front of me. Oh, he moved, I think. Mm. Oh, we got to talk about something. What's that? Fucking... Five Nights at Freddy's and the sh and the leak. Dude, this was fucking. That was easy. I didn't have to go in there at all. So we got a little bit of story detail. Oh, did we? Oh yeah, yeah. There was a gas. There was a gas leak that happened. Right? Yeah. So, uh, well, no, there, there's actually a reason why he posted something like that. Was because. What was that? What was that? So apparently oh, something gosh. happened where. We're uh, literally about to be eaten by slender in real yeah. life. Yeah, dude, that's actually one of my fears when I'm playing a horror game is uh, something disappear. No, something disappearing right behind me. Oh, this isn't exactly the same? This is exactly the same. No, it's not. This pipe isn't in the original map. Yeah, it is. Is it really? Yes. Uh, maybe I haven't played enough of the original map. I really actually played the Slender Arrival thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, I remember this. Or Slender yeah. the Eight Pages. Yeah. I remember these. The wooden totems. So I wasn't going crazy. There was someone in the kitchen. Who was it? That's my stepdad. Oh, I didn't know he would be awake this late. Um... They, they, they watch. Oh, whoa, he's right there. Oh my god, he's right there. When I was bumping up the jams. Bump the jams. Hey, yo, DJ! What? Did you ever unlock $20 mode? What the fuck is $20 mode? Okay, so if you beat the eight pages, you get oh. daylight mode. And when you get daylight mode, it's just the same game with just daylight, so it's easier to find the pages. Oh, uh, was that the one where, like, 20, uh, Slender wants $20? Yeah, so when you. I that was a meme. No, 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 it was, it was a real thing. Uh, if you beat daylight mode, you get $20 mode. <laughs> And whenever Slender appeared, instead of like a horrifying music in the background, it's just a, give me $20, give me $20, give me $20. Wow. And, uh, yeah, it made the game a lot more funny. <laughs> I'm at six. I have no idea where I can go for seven. Uh, there's, I think there's two in the building, isn't there? Is there? I think so. Then this is definitely not like the original. No, no, I'm pretty sure. I think in the original there was two. Nope. Yeah. No, there, oh, there's, there's two different buildings in the first one. This, oh. is, this is a much smaller map. No, it's not. It's the same map. No, this is much smaller. Well, it is the same map, but just condensed. Because, like, I know that chair. Oh, yeah, yeah, so do I. I'm gonna get like, ever seen eight, uh, eight drunk guys play Slender? Nope, I've seen the Achievement Hunters play Slender. Or, I guess, play Pals. Yeah, see, I, I was pretty sure there was another one in there. I'm going to get murdered because I'm back in here. Nah, you're fine. Ooh, huh. that's the one I went in before. Yeah, no, you were right. My bad. Did you find the, uh, like, the, the the weird wall that has four walls? I think this is it right here. No, that's the tree again. That's, that's, that's the slender tree. I should stop running. But, it, yeah, no, we so we got a little look into Five Nights at Freddy's sister location oh, wait, story. Is he, is he, is he following you less of lights off? Man, it's so bright. I man. have no idea, but it doesn't look like you're wasting flashlight battery. <laughs> True. I just figured he might, he might not follow me as much. Nah, no, nah, he knows where you are at all times. He's like Santa Claus, except he's going to do things to your bum. Oh, those are bums too. Oh, we like butts. I like big butts and can uh, And now, 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 people will never see this video because uh, I'm quitting. <laughs> now you're quitting? Okay. Well, at least you gave me a two weeks notice. <laughs> two weeks? No, it's gonna be effective immediately. Oh, here's the weird floor wall. Oh no, that's the wall. No, but that's that's something you haven't found yet. Nope. Yep, that's true. 
I feel like he's gonna murder me when I get to seven. Austin, you... Who the fuck is the page? I could have sworn there was a page here. Right? That's... Slender. It's a landmark. Usually there's eight landmarks. Um, Slender, please. I'm trying to find this page. Stop uh, fucking with my camera. No, it's not on there. Okay. What Ooh. a fucking dickhead. Ooh. Dude, seriously. Oh, there's, there's a fence. Yeah, well, obviously. Stick to the fence and he can't get you. That's not true. No, that's totally true. I don't believe that to be true. No, that's true. Don't stop being a pansy. Just believe me. Anyway, so... Uh, so sister location. Okay, so si sister location. Interrupt me one more time and I'll kill you and your family. Um, so in sister location, there's a gas leak. I say I, I'm doing that with air quotes because uh, we it, like people say that you know it was supposed to be a grand reopening and they didn't. They just totally shut down the uh, the restaurant for a gas leak. And there was like eight. Ooh, whoa, Austin! What? Why would you do that? Uh, I was trying to see if he was actually following you. He is. I already checked uh, here. But, uh, yeah, so there was a, uh, apparently a gas leak is what they told the people and like, press. But, like, a Nate, like, a guy who, like, lived on the block, the same place that the pizzeria was on. Yeah. Uh, I said there's, like, yeah, there was, like, eight or, like, there was, like, a bunch of cars that surrounded the place. And out of nowhere, there's, like, these guys pulling these big things out under the tarps. And, like, then they, that was it. The pizza place closed down. And so this is the, your, uh, so the establishment is the factory that you're working in as a maintenance man. Wait, wait, so sister location is not, like, another pizzeria? No, it's a factory. Okay. But I, I think it's gonna be... People say it might be a free roam. Yeah. Because at some point, like, usually when it gets closer and closer to its release date, Scott usually shows a gameplay footage of it, but, um, he hasn't yet. He's shown, like, like gameplay mechanics. Yeah. But, like, or, like, teasing gameplay mechanics, and but he hasn't shown actual, like... What the office looks like, or what we use to... Whoa, holy shit. I've never seen him teleport in front of people. Yeah, he does not. Ooh, ooh, Austin, he's looking at you. I'm taking a drink of my coffee. I can't yeah, run away from It's your fault. Oh. oh. He actually teleported farther away from me there for some reason. Oh, but Fuck he's right me. there. Slender, seriously. Oh! Hello. Okay, we, we're good, right? No, he's probably still right there. Oh! Yep, still right there. They say, look, I put it on hardcore. Oh, my flashlight's dead. Oh, no, there's... I had my flashlight... Oh, there it's dead. No, you turned it off again. Nope. Yeah, you did. No, it's dead. Is it? Yep. Oh. Oh, yeah, because it's a hardcore mode. Your flashlight dies a lot faster. Yep. My bad, man. Uh, well, I mean, I don't care. Yeah? It's I only mean, the one time. One time, yeah, allegedly. Because, well, because... I mean, what do we got to do after this? I feel as though you haven't been over here yet. No, I have. There's the things. Fuck Are you. Are you sure? I mean, I'm, I'm exploring everywhere now. I'm just wandering around the circle. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting to the, like, the fence. Ooh, is that the wall? I think that's a gate. Uh, it is a gate, but there's thunder too, so don't go near it. Actually, I think the gate has a paper. Oh, no, those are those. Are, fuck, those are the, that's the wall with the four walls, I think. Oh, let's go over here, because I don't think I've been over here. Fuck you, thunder. Oh, I don't think I've been over here. Ooh. Buddy, fuck off. I pooed my pants a little bit. Oh, no, you haven't been over here. It's gonna of really course, hard. he's right there, though. There, there should be a page Bond. here. Yep. Okay, cool. It's going to be really hard to see a page without my flashlight. What else is new? There it is! Get it! Yeah! Yeah! It. Yeah, now I run away. Yeah! Austin, I, I can't believe you won, man! Yeah! On so hardcore. now I ripped my skin off, right? Yeah. Well, all, everything stopped. Okay. There he is. Hey, buddy. Mr. Slendy, I have plans for you, Kate. Oh, <laughs> you That's right, I said it. I'm not sad. Not one bit. I'm sweaty. Yeah, it's okay. I, I'm gross after work today. Yeah. Are we done now? Yeah, slender? That, that, that was slender. Holy shit, that was slender. Uh, yeah. Very anticlimactic ending. Yeah. It was a mediocre indie game. I mean, yeah, I, I can see why it was eh. But, I, dude, the, those fucking... The, the factory in the first eight pages area, like, and the... Oh, no, yeah, no, the factory like, was the scariest part of the game. Yeah, the factory was the scariest and most effective part of the game. That second house where you hate, that was fucking scary. Dude. Yeah. And uh, to me, the farm was scary because, like, that was some children of the corn shit, but you figured out the way to stop him by just looking at him. <laughs> or just hang, or just not walking into the corn. Well, no, you kept walking into it, and that's but what triggered I, him to come after you. But I kept backing up into it, but then I'd just walk onto the path, and he'd be like, oh, shit. That, the, the ending could have been, uh, could have been better. Could have been way better. But, you know, for what it was, I was actually still pretty spooked. Pretty spooked? Yeah, by the end. Yeah, so All what's right. our, what's our next game? Condemned? Yep, Condemned Criminal Origins. What's that for, PS3? Uh, Xbox. We're going to borrow our, uh, Mr. Wilson's Xbox for that. Mr. Wilson, bitch, I got a 
little yeah, sister there's... upstairs with the 360. Oh, yeah. Then, Wait, then... can I not download it on my PS3? It's for PS3, but I don't want you to spend any more money when I own the game. Oh, yeah, good point. Fuck you. Oh, who? No, fuck you. Bye, guys.